Hi, this is Tim Erden, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this lesson we're going to talk about how variance is divvied up in a one-way ANOVA, or one-way analysis of variance. All right, so in a one-way ANOVA, or any ANOVA, um, what we're looking to calculate is an F value, and then once we calculate the F value, we look in Appendix C and determine whether it's statistically significant. So here's the formula for the F value, and um, it's important to pay attention to what's going on here. The top of the F value is the MSB, and that is the average square difference between group means. So in this example, we have three groups, and each group has its own distribution, and each group has its own mean. And so one of the things we want to know in our F value is what's the average difference between the means squared. Um, we got to square it because if you just take the average difference between any numbers, you're going to end up with zero. Um, between any means, you're going to end up with zero. So what we want to know is what's the average squared difference between the group means. That is the numerator of the F value. And then the denominator of the F value is what's the mean square within. Sometimes that MSW is denoted as MSE because it's also known as the mean square error. And what this tells you is what's the average square difference um, between the individual scores within a sample and that sample mean. So the way that it works is the differences between the scores within a sample and their own sample mean that's just considered to be random variation, random differences caused, you know, by sampling. So any sample is going to have differences between the individual scores and the mean. And in an ANOVA, we consider that difference to just be random error. And so what we want to know is, with this F value, is, is the difference, the, the average difference between the group means, is that pretty big or pretty small? compared to the difference that we would just expect to get within each group just due to random sampling. So that's why the F um, formula is the average difference between groups divided by the average difference within each group or the average amount of error that you get. So that's the explanation of the formula. All right, so here's a bit of the logic behind um, the partitioning of variance that happens in an ANOVA. Um, the idea here is that every individual score, and this is how you denote an individual score, it's x, i, j, so that's the individual score um, within a particular group. So i is the individual score and j is the group. So this is, let's just say, an individual score within this first sample that's got the x bar 1, that purple, um, so that is an individual score. And that individual score is divided up. That um, the, the variance between that individual score and the grand mean, which is this thing here, um, is divided up into two parts. So the grand mean is if you take all of the scores from all of the groups in your ANOVA and you add them all together and you divide by the total number of scores across all three groups, uh, then what you would get is a grand mean. And the difference between any individual score and the grand mean is actually um, divided up into two different parts. So they look like this. The first part of that variance is what's the difference between the individual score and that individual's group mean. So it's that chunk right there. How far away is the individual score from that group mean? That's the first part of the variance. And that is just considered error. And then the second part of the variance is what's the difference between that group mean and the grand mean there? So let me do that in a different color to make that a little bit clearer. Why don't we do dark green? So what's the difference between this individual's group mean and the grand mean. So these two things combined, these two pieces of variance combined, 
are the total variance between the individual score and the grand mean. But for ANOVA, we want to divide those into two pieces. What's the difference between the individual score and that individual's group mean? That we're going to consider error, and that's going to go down in this part of the formula. And then what's the difference between that individual group mean and the grand mean? And that is considered possibly important. That's what we really want to know about. And that's going to go in the top part of this F formula. So to restate it, every individual score, the difference or the variance between the individual score and the grand mean has two parts, the difference between the individual score and that individual's group mean, and the difference between that individual's group mean and the grand mean. That's how we partition the variance into two parts. And those two pieces are um, what ultimately go into the formula for the F value. So if the differences between the group means on average is pretty big compared to the average difference between or within each group, um, then we've got a significant F value. And that's really what we want to know with ANOVA. Is the difference between our group means meaningful or significant? And for it to be significant, um, then the difference within each group, the amount of error there is within each group, has to be small compared to how much difference there is between the group means. Hope that's helpful, a little bit.